Welcome back. You know what time it is. It is time for our beautiful Girls Can't Geek chat with your girl, SD Trinity. And I got my co-host here. Jiggly Senpai. Hey. Perfect. Perfect. Well, we got a few familiar faces if you haven't seen already. We have Miss Bunny over here. Say hey, Bunny. What's up, special, beautiful, lovely guest here. If you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, it's fantastic. Frankie, y'all know the vibes. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. So excited. <laughs> so today, today, I know, right? <laughs> Everybody's going, you're. <laughs> you got to come in. You got to, you know, announce yourself when you roll up. <laughs> well, this is perfect because we're actually going to go ahead and announce what the hell we just watched and talk about it um we're just gonna say you know this episode is just about um ugly ducklings well you know people consider ugly ducklings turning into i guess beautiful swans okay in the geek community and of course uh i will say this part of this uh we're gonna have a clip and it's gonna be from the what was it three ninjas um podcast so I just want to shout them out. Thank you. You guys really sparked something about this. We just want to give our, our two cents on it because you can't just tell one side of the story, okay? So just right off the bat, when you guys think of ugly ducklings in the geek community, a lot of people will assume it's someone that's got glasses, that is a loner, that, you know, don't bathe or something. You know what I mean? Like if someone said, Tell me an ugly duckling geek. You'd be like broken glasses, tape, you know, probably head braces all the nine, you know, whatever it is. But it's really not like that. And of course, we all have our versions of ugly ducklings. So I just want to open up to you guys out there. Let's start with uh, Frankie, just to get your, when someone says ugly duckling in the geek community, what is your first thought? I... <laughs> Normally when someone says that to me, I just be like the nerve. Cause normally the people who call it are never fine. I never see a fine man be like, oh yeah, 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 she's an ugly duckling or a beautiful woman. You know, like so, someone who got it together is not calling out how someone else looks. Right. Um but I think a lot of times that it's not that someone's ugly. I think it's just that they they have their own style that isn't popular. You know what I mean? So, I mean, a lot of us, I I'm, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how y'all looked. But I know, speaking for me, I had transition glasses. Y'all remember those, the wireframes that yeah. were sunglasses yeah. when I went outside? You know, I, my hair, I didn't figure out. Twist out was not a thing. We was using pink lotion. It was, it was, just, it was, it was just a different, you know, I, I was definitely that ugly duckling type. And now people be like, oh, what do you know? He was always fine. And I'm like, I, yes, I always look like this, but could I put it together? Exactly. exactly. No. Um, and yeah, yeah, complaining. I guess what I really get upset is that I, I see guys complain or call girls a duckling and then in the same breath be like, but I can't find a date. And then, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but y'all standards are where? Because you want Rihanna. You think Rihanna wants you? Exactly. We ride at midnight, bitch. We ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. You actually brought up a really good point because I'm going to say the same thing. For myself, I was super ugly duckling. And honestly, I feel like I'm not even, I haven't, I don't think I've reached my peak yet. So like you said, growing up, I definitely was, seen as the little sister for any of the guys that I had a crush on or whatever they're like oh but you're nerdy you're geeky you know I had the plaits I had the gel braids my mom would put in my hair and I hated it I still hate it to this day I'm like why would you do me like this mom it don't make no sense I thought you loved me but <laughs> oh, like, for real like I didn't have the latest outfits you know it was from like Kmart or Walmart or something growing up or whatever but growing up now, people are like, oh, you're so beautiful, yada, yada, yada. Same thing. I wish I could find me somebody like you. I'm like, you dissed me for like a decade, okay? And now you want to come back. You could have had me when I was, I guess, in my ugly duckling form. 
but you want you want the full swan without dealing with the ugly ducklings and like you said a lot of them aren't fine a lot of them that i've noticed are saying you know she's ugly or she's an ugly duckling or not attractive to make themselves feel better when themselves are also not attractive you know and we all have different varieties of what we find attractive but the general is just like but you're not a catch either yeah, it'd be objective. They'd be objectively unattractive. It's yeah. not like you know Atticus from Lovecraft Country. He's fine, but okay. if somebody was like, "I don't find him attractive," I'd be like, "All right." Yeah. But mm-hmm. there are people who are objectively unattractive, and it'd be dumb. It'd be mm, dumb yeah. speaking. You know mm. what I mean? It'd be the them for Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jig, have you had any like any ugly ugly moments or seen this in your personal experience? So I'm gonna start by saying that I full on reject the term ugly duckling, although I understand its application. I for one like glow up. Yes. Because we're we're focusing on the now, not necessarily the then. Mm-hmm. That being said. My particular brand of pre-glow, I was very, very tall and very, very poor. My pants never touched my ankles. <laughs> Up the high water and I right never had cool anything unless it was hand-me-down. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried hopelessly to fit in, but I couldn't help but be weird because I just was. It was a mental struggle. Um, And I found that really what it it turned out to be was me just being comfortable all the way in my weird ass skin. Um, Mm -hmm. And now I feel great about it. And I think people probably still think I'm weird, but I don't give a fuck anymore. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And that's Um, the thing. I, I think that People who, like you said, use the the term ugly duckling or really focus on, you know, how uh, particularly busted somebody used to be or used to look like all all of that is really projection. You're Mm -hmm. you're you're putting how you feel about yourself on somebody else. Um, You're also not allowing them to, you know, be different to grow or to change like we don't stay the same Mm -hmm. exactly and uh we see this a lot in our comments on girls can't geek on instagram um you know and it's really sad because it's like you can have disagreement you guys listen you guys can have disagreements without attacking each other but a lot of times it's a lot of the males i'm not not all y'all that is, a lot that of the guys out there <laughs> really upset that a, a, a woman or whatever, if that's how she identifies, is saying like, no, that's that's not true. Like Google, you know what I mean? Then it's like, well, I just looked at your profile. You ugly. And then you're like, okay, let me look at his profile. And then there's like no pictures of him. I'm like, okay, so you're hiding. I see what this is. Or if there is a profile picture, I'm like, you, you. Ain't got no way to stand up here and talk about somebody. You know what I mean? Do I read you for who you are? Sometimes you just need to read them for who they are. And it is what it is. But then they come back, oh, I'm sorry. I just, like you said. I just wanted attention. Yeah, I just wanted attention. No one really talks to me. Yeah, and I'm like, why would you do, why would you stab yourself? Like, (laughs) it doesn't make sense. Why would you put yourself in a bear trap? And then- cry about it doesn't make sense they're in a glass um, case of emotion (laughs) (laughs) but bunny have you run into this situation before the funny thing is when we was in the chat because y'all we got a chat and we be roasting and we there was a (laughs) chat so just know (laughs) <laughs> every four of the women that you look in each four that's the grammatical way grammatica <laughs> each of the four women you looking at we be all in the videos diddy bopping and we go to death row so don't don't think that before we show this video that we about to show when i share this screen don't think we didn't 
So this is a low cal calorie roast. There's a high calorie roast somewhere. <laughs> Praise God. So as far as duck is concerned, I didn't want to share this in the chat. I wanted to wait till y'all saw me because for context, all of the shit that I've been working on would have made y'all look at me like this bitch <laughs> on the chat, you know, um, but ugly duckling, right? When I was a kid, big boobs were all the rage. For mm -hmm. context, I was born in the 80s, everybody. And um, I say all of that to say, I didn't have these. And I love these. I really do. Everybody uh, hug your boobies one time if you feel comfortable enough. Yes. Y'all y'all wish now. <laughs> all of y'all motherfuckers that used to make fun of my buck teeth. All right. <laughs> oh, all yeah. of y'all that used to call me mosquito bite because this is all I had. All of y'all that used to call me the ironing board. Mm-hmm. Because all I had though. was, all right. All of y'all that used to call me mosquito bite ironing board and I don't even remember all the other ones but those are the ones that hurt my feeling the most I know the reason why now <laughs> but when I was a kid in the 90s um not really understanding why you gave a fuck about the fact that I didn't have boobs you know what I mean like oh let me show you the mosquito bites this is not porno because this is actually bunny when she was little they, this is what they made fun of. Can you see the mosquito bite? I, I can see it. <laughs> I love so it. So I, I say that because I know they didn't, they couldn't get on me because I used to get up five hours early to do my own hair. I've been doing my own washing set since I was 11. Um, holla at me. I'll be needing that money for the studio time. So okay. I, I know you said twist out Frankie, but I got you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I would do my own washing set in the morning so that you know, because my mother couldn't. She just couldn't take me to the salon. It, we were poor, you know. Um, and this is an Old Navy shirt. When Old Navy first came out, they used to be very inexpensive. And that was all my dad could really afford. Shout out to my dad on his veteran fucking paycheck. Um, taught me how to paint, doing odd jobs when I was the ugly duckling. And I had these mosquito bites. Why you want me to be 12 years old with big tits? Because that's what the oppressor tells us that, you know, Afro Latina girls should look like. And I didn't have that. What I actually had was, what I didn't understand was this butt. <laughs> the wagon. Why you got, why you got, why you got <laughs> supplemental dragon the wagon. <laughs> I do this on purpose. So whoever's listening on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and, and Anchor FM. I want for I you guys it. to go to our YouTube and see. This is for this is for you guys to know. There is a YouTube channel for Girls Can't Geek. And oh. there's actually one for, you know, Fantastic Frankie has one. Trin oh. has one. Jig. We all, oh. we, you know, so we're just reminding our listeners out there in Girls Can't Geek land, right, Trin? That um, <laughs> if you really want to get the full effect of the episode, you gonna have to go to YouTube, and they might just Bunny flag the video. Bunny is squeezing her boobs. If you're listening, she they might flag a lot the video. Squeezing, so you're saying, go watch a lot the video. Of five, five, they five. might, she they really might flag this. Out. Oh, and so I want, cause they, cause they call me mosquito bite, and they would tell me that I walk like a pantera duck, cause they didn't want to empower me and say I walked like regal, storm, auroro. All right. Mm -hmm. 90 storm. They didn't want to tell me you, wow, that's impressive. When I used to leave Cosmic Comics and I would hang out with my cousin, Sean and Devin. I love you guys. Y'all in St. Croix and I'm here, but I love you. <laughs> Thanks for showing me up, down, left, right. Just saying, no shade. I used I'm to get here. soup coolers. Oh, oh they used to call Do you remember? So, and then Angelina was getting hot. Laura Craft came out. We ride at midnight. Talk about her lips. We ride at midnight. Like, I was like, y'all talking about my lips, okay? Okay. okay. Coolers, but then when yeah. I got to college, they changed to y'all remember uh, DSL? Yeah, I still get so that. So it was a different type of. So it went from like being, oh, she's ugly because she had that, and I got uh, Will Smith ears, but I grew into them, but. Uh, <laughs> I had Will Smith ears and I had big lips and it was like, oh, gross. Da, da, da. And then I got to college and then it was like this sexualization 
that honestly I wasn't prepared for it either. I mean, I owned it, you know, I'll talk to my yeah. sister who was always cool. <laughs> she definitely wasn't into comics. She was way more into like fashion and stuff. So like when I was ready, you know, she showed me how to comb my hair, how to like dress and stuff. But either way, it was just such a tonal shift to your point, mm -hmm. Bunny, that it was like, first it's like, I don't want to touch you. Then it's like the only thing you're good for is sex. It, to this day, right? I, yes. When y'all see more than my collarbone? Yeah. When oh, have y'all seen more than you, my collarbone? I ain't collar never board? seen you with the... This is when? The first time you grab your titties because you love Big Papa. Yo, I be getting brazy. I be getting brazy, but I'm like, I feel like sometimes my message, men can't focus, right? So I'm like the t-shirt, I got to wear the t-shirt because they're not going to be listening to what I say. And even still, they be talking crazy. I'm like, what, what is sparking this desire? It's my elbows? Yeah. I know oh, y'all saw clearly. the elbow, y'all saw the wrist? Clearly. What, what, like, what is it? it? Or I'll do a live it, and they talk about my lips in the live. I'm like, y'all, I'm talking about oppression why are y'all talking about my lips here you gonna I, come in a whole scheme ass just this and they still gonna be like but your eyes girl i bet mm -hmm. oh i can't wait to look into those while we while we smash and you'd be like how huh? yeah. they'd be uh -huh. like yo that that curve right here in the neck yo i know <laughs> oh the neck ah, got you know it i'm late but i got it you know what I'm saying? For the middle. Can That's I say what, what it really is. Say? Can I say it? Can the honorary niggas ain't Go shit? Ahead. Niggas Go ain't ahead. shit. I said it. We love niggas ain't shit. Quite often. Quite Carry often. Carry on. Carry quite on, Franke. We still gonna fuck though. But oh, what yeah, I'm saying is absolutely. Let's not leave that out. Please be respectful. Let's not leave that out. <laughs> please be respectful don't let me regret you know how many times i've had a guy talk himself out of booty to the point where it got to yeah. a point where i would say it i'd be like yo you know you fucked up right i was prepared i got my good bra on and it matched right? my drawers mm -hmm. damn mm -hmm. yeah they mm -hmm. gotta fuck up the good bra mm -hmm. mosquito the pie. one's not that's what i'm saying I, i'm wearing panties that i didn't buy in a pack Right? You know, that reminds me of that line from Low Down Dirty Shame uh, when she was like, how you feel about yourself now, you stupid motherfucker? You could have had <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you would just not say dumb shit, like, because I, 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 I came, I came, I was ready to party. Y'all want me to go home and I'm yes. going to oh, yeah. anime until I fall asleep. Drake, yeah. Jake. You want huh. to play the video since we go, since go ahead, play the video. Play the video. I think, yeah, Jig just put put it in perspective. Like, since mm -hmm. we talk about dumb shit, <laughs> let's go share. Ahead play it. Play let's it. share this. Now y'all see all the work on my damn. Okay. Hold on. So this is a video, y'all, for you guys to take a look at uh on Instagram. You see, this is this just is funny, kind of retarded. I'm kind of retarded. Let's turn on the audio. I think you have to share your audio when you share the screen. Can you hear it? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, here, I'll, I'll paraphrase. Ugly ducklings, women, <laughs> hot, cosplay, comic con, the end. Okay, that's what they said. <laughs> he said, you go to Comic-Con, it's a different thing than what you think it is. He goes, oh, so it's a bunch of female nerds. That's red flag. He goes, my wife don't female. care when I go to the club or nothing. My wife cares when I go to conventions because first of all, you got to understand these females grew up as an ugly duckling. She grew up and now she bad. And now she got a body. So now she want to dress up like her favorite character. Now Devin, how oh, sure. Said they got great jobs because they nerds. We oh, do. We're gonna, we gonna talk about. We're gonna talk. Hey, he goes. Yeah, I man. tell my partners if you want to see some girls as bad, come with me to the comic book convention. And within minutes, yo, what's going on? But they got holes in the background. For, like, yeah, okay. they, they, like, they did have. Wait, can you go back to? Because they got. <laughs> they got <laughs> I didn't even in. think about that. <laughs> I need to just, tell you guys, they got- They were, they were just posing. Um, they were, there, there wasn't a dance. It wasn't bottle service. Bottle service holes. They were standing there. 
Y'all, okay, hold on. Cause hold on. What you said, children? <laughs> <laughs> See, this happens all the time, especially working she from I'm home. Working. She know I'm working. All y'all out there in Girls Can't Eat land will know. And I know a lot of y'all got kids, okay? You be like, let me just do this. Give me some time. And they'd be like, uh, but I want, I want a grilled cheese. You can grill cheese your ass to the room, okay? Leave me alone. Let me do my work. And I'll get you in like an hour, okay? First of all, you're grown. Go in the kitchen, get your own stuff. Like, just, just leave me alone. <laughs> Speaking about grown, Frankie, Jig, Trin. These are grown men talking and using the term female. I have reservations on what female should be applied to. This man raised me and taught me when to use the word woman and when to use the word female. I have reservations about the way they use the term female. I feel like that's for cops and scientists. Hmm. It's yeah. a, it's a, it's a technical term, right? That's it. Science or if you're it. using it technically, right? Like, oh, she's about, she's female, you know, five, eight, da, da, da. yes. But when you're saying a female, I automatically like, I don't fuck with, like if I'm talking to a guy and he says female, which is often because in New York, it's just part of our vernacular. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like that man will say female like that it's respectful. Um, but I'm like, we never call you just male, right? Like it's, yeah. It's dehumanizing, right? Like you're yeah. talking about an animal, but it, it goes back to the ownership they feel there, mm -hmm. right? Um, and even that guy is talking about it like he's shopping. My my wife don't want me to buy nothing at the club. So I go to comic, but like it's a, it's a find. I go to mm -hmm. comic. When they created these fits, right? What he's talking about are girls in cosplay who are wearing, you know, like the kill a kill cosplay. That's a thong. Mm -hmm. got your ass out in that right oh, so they they're they are expressing themselves through things that they enjoy and you take it as she is jiggling her ass for me to consume mm -hmm. you, you get what i'm the saying consumerism exactly yeah. i never talk about these guys with their top off look at what's his name um i like him though i don't want him to think that i don't like him but what's his name he man cosplay he always he man his titties always out uh hell spawn cosplay Okay. okay he's always thirst trapping i never see like we talking about him like he's an object to purchase you know mm -hmm. yeah and and that's a good thing that you pointed out too because when i miss comic cons i really do i miss all the gatherings but when i would see a guy dressed up I'm I'm just using Inuyasha because that's that's baby daddy right there. But um, hey. when I see someone cosplaying him and got like the half robe off and like the chest bare and everything, I'm like, that's a good cosplay. I'm not saying like, mm. you know what um, I mean. But you can see when you see uh, like other cosplayers cosplaying as anything honestly if if she's got a if she's got a school girl outfit on she's most likely probably going to be getting looked at a lot more than someone dressed up in you know as i don't even know like you could believe me you could tell the difference because it's like oh can i take a picture with you whatever it is it's like yeah sure whatever super nice but then the guys are like hey can i take a picture and then they like do the slowly hand down the back thing and you're just like really sir really this is what we're doing this is what you came here for to be trying to touch other like like ladies just doing stuff or whatever like it don't make no sense to me um to be a creep. but they said they said this in the podcast and i actually want to play the at least the um what they're hey, saying hey, off your phone. How they're get off your phone. you know we ghetto so here frankie you don't mind if we, you know we ghetto no i can i can share we it ghetto. with the south actually yeah if yeah, you said because so i want you guys to hear let me let me make you a hope yeah i want you to hear how they're saying it how they're describing females women you know what i mean i really want you to hear it so um because they did say something that like also just have me turn my head but let me refresh and make sure y'all got 
right. Con, it's a different, it's a different sure? thing than what it, you think it right. is. It's a, it's a, so it's a, it's a bunch of female nerds. Ah! Look, listen, look, look, my wife, she don't care when I go to the club. She don't worry about that. She worry about when I go to them conventions. Because <laughs> first of all, you gotta understand, these are females who grew up. They was an ugly duckling. You, you know what I mean? Grew up, and now she bad. She got a body, and look she gonna dress up as her back. favorite look character. The look, and they be, and they be having great mm -hmm. jobs because we talking about oh, nerds. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So mm -hmm. it's like, mm, you know what I mean? Like. I told the boss, like, yo, you want to see something, man? Come with me to a comic book convention. All right. Man, within minutes, he was like, yo! Yo, turned out. Yo, what's going on? I'm like, yeah. Look, she had to you. get up after drinking the water. Her thirsty ass. I said it. Uh, um, So, I, 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 there's a lot, a lot to be said here, and I'm going to let y'all say what y'all got to say. But dawn, the particular bitches. part about him talking about the girl, the woman, the, the, <laughs> growing up, mm -hmm. I can't say it. I can't say it. I'm, I'm upset now. Um, growing up and how she used to not have nobody and now she do. First of all, she didn't have a body because she was a young girl. She was not a woman. She, she was a child. She was a child. Like she, she wasn't supposed to have a body at that time. And once you come into your womanhood, you experience explore yourself and you explore that that femininity and that sexuality and whatever that means to you right now there's a there's been a lot of shit thrown at uh chloe bailey for growing up with her woman body and doing woman shit with her woman body but to, to, to to point out the fact that she is now acting different because she has a different set of tools first of all that's how you should act when you get new tools. You've learned how to use them and you use them effectively. But also, she was a child. Like, she, she didn't have, because she was a little girl. Was I, I always saw it like, all right, I had a bike. Well, I have a bike. I have a bike. When I'm driving, when I'm riding my bike, I'm, do, I'm avoiding certain things. I only go to certain places, I only do certain things, and I dress a certain way. When I'm on my bike. But when I got a car, okay, it's a whole different, it's a whole different ball game. Now I can dress sexy, not worry about how I'm dressed, right? Mm -hmm. Cause I, I'm not gonna sweat it out or whatever. I can go to different places, things like that. And it's the same thing to your point. Yo, you hit the nail on the head, sis. We weren't not, that's what I was saying before. Y'all calling us ugly ducklings when we were 12. Like how, what, how was I supposed to dress? Way. Yeah, my sneakers light up. That shit was fuego to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, I have flowers on my shirt. Okay. But the difference is we explore our sexuality and evolve over it. And a lot of these men don't, right? So they've been wearing a Goku shirt since they was 10. So to them, we the one who switched up. Mm -hmm. Because you you wear the same gear for the last 20 years. Exactly. But I'm like, we we have the fortunate, we evolved and we get to express that in our way. And you need to grow up. Don't be tight. <laughs> Don't be and here's, here's something that I want to bring up. I, I wanted to bring up a couple um, comparisons. So our homegirl, Jessie Lees, that's her name on Instagram. We love her. Love you. We'll talk soon. Um, her cosplays, you guys, if you guys just take a moment to scroll through her page real quick. Jess Yulise, okay, her cosplays are out of this world, okay? Like, she's not making them over-sexualized. Like, I, man, I'm looking at her Mortal Kombat 11 cosplays that she just did recently. You know what I mean? Looks amazing, okay? That one, amazing. When I go to, um... When I go to Comic Con or even like just local conventions in my area and I see this, I'm like, I need pictures with this person. I want to know how they did this, what's going on. But then another uh, another girl can show up, dress up as a Power Girl. I think that's what it is, Power Girl. And you know she got the big old big old titties out. They just out with there, the okay? The keyhole. Yes, the whole just <laughs> right there. Throw a whole little minivan in there if you want to. Like they'll they'll look at let's say Yulee's cosplay and be like, oh, that's cool. Look at Power Girl and be like, yeah, I need a picture with her. She's fine. Ooh, and it's like, first of all, Yulee's is fine too. 
you ain't got body, okay? She she snaps, okay? But because you're not seeing that in the cosplay when you're at Comic-Con, you're gonna gra gravitate towards the booty cheeks out and the that. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. But and there's I nothing wrong with Violet. We love Violet at Girls Can't Geek Lang, right. but it's for context. Right. But when you're sitting here saying, oh, that's where all the women are. Okay, let's say you somehow do hook one of these geek women at Comic-Con. Then what? She's not going to be in that costume all the time. You know what I mean? She will be without eyelashes. She will be without makeup. Regular, she will not have regular that mode. On. Regular degular, okay? Like a whole normal person as every sh everybody should be, okay? Are you still going to find her attractive or only when she's dressed up in that? Two, he said, <laughs> and I quote, if she's there, she got money because if she's a geek, she's got a good job. That is not <laughs> most of the people that I know that cosplay. We broke, okay? How we negative is my bank account you. today, Trent? <laughs> we just made really things negative. Like, all right, I got a little spare change. I can get that next part to my cosplay. Okay, I found where I can get fabric oh, for bad. cheap. I'm oh. only negative sixty nine. <laughs> So but, bad. but see you you'll be like okay i, I want to i really want to make this cosplay happen i really want to make this cosplay happen and then we find a way to do it it's not because we got money oh i got money so <laughs> y'all if you guys are watching on youtube you can see what's going on if not go to youtube so you can see what money is going <laughs> this is it this is but it. it's like um like I, it blows my mind what the stereotype of, I guess, uh, a geek in overall is. Like I said, you can ask these people, like, how much did that cost to make it? And they're like, shoot, $50 and a soda. Like, oh, really? It's like, yeah, I got this bodysuit from Goodwill and I just changed it up a little bit. I've already had this fabric since three years ago. Boom. But then for all that hard work to be put in and then it's only like, oh, I'm going to go to her because she got the ass out. She got the titties out. Really does hurt the community as a whole. I feel like personally. Because you know everybody has trend? went out there. What? They're going to be like, wait, let me. <laughs> well, <laughs> if. For everybody, I'm making the face that y'all be making when. <laughs> e Thank Eeyore or the um Shrek donkey. Well, if that's the reason why you go to Comic Con, you females, then don't go to Comic Con at all, cause you supposed to be cosplaying for the love, not because you want attention. <laughs> Carry on, I'm sorry, but you know I have to say it. I might be PMSing. Who knows? <laughs> no, it's fine because like there's always gonna be some way that they're gonna defend like pretty much eye fucking somebody at Comic Con, but not understanding why they're in that cosplay or why they're in that costume or why they're even there to begin with. You know what I mean? We use those to get to know each other, be with each other, be with someone that's probably like minded as myself. And then you just come there, just like you said, oh, you can go there and, you know, you could pick out whoever. Yeah, like, when did well, we become, uh, what pick, was this a supermarket suite? Okay. I'm saying, yeah. pick out, like, uh, am I sitting on a shelf right now? Or you we ride. Gonna, like, you can put me in your basket? What the fuck but, is that shit? But we we're, ride. They, that's what they think we're here for. Like, even, I have an ad out now on Facebook. That's like, hi, Frankie, come debate with me. I get so many men in my inbox asking me to tell them more about myself. Like we on a job interview or this Tinder. No, I'm not. Check my page out and let's go. Oh, can we debate here? No, this is my business, Papa. I'm not, I'm not, this is not an APB for you to come, for me to get a man. Especially not your crusty self. And they get Please. so Hurt. so hurt. hurt me like I'm not interested well you ugly anyway first of all good why is why is that always the first shot like why is that. ugly the first shot like clearly I wasn't why are you here yeah how it's why conditioning. Here? 
It's the conditioning. Our oppressor has conditioned men. And this is, this is going to spiral. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. Be mad. Motherfuckers. <laughs> so this is going to piss you guys off. So the oppressor has found yet another creative way to turn black male privilege on its head. Because yes, there is a certain skill set that was bestowed upon the black male. So we now have black male privilege. All right. And this is scientific articulation, which is why I didn't say black man privilege. And the issue that stems from that is as follows. There's a subset of privilege that the man in the black community has been afforded to believe that for whatever reason, women can be selected. Black women, Latina women, women of color, women in general can be selected by the black male population. And within this structure, there's the, I could read all of the messages. We should collaborate, Bunny. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, are we curing cancer, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a business deal, opportunity for you. Let me know when we can sit and talk about it. Beautiful. Oh. And I'd be looking at them and I'm like, all right, so number one, and this is for context, you guys, I'll make this as quick as possible. Y'all know I ramble. If you care enough, you'd have the capacity to take a look that Frankie's been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. Jenny has been doing this for years. Jig has been doing this for years. I popped up on the podcast scene in 2015. Do not come to me in 2021 saying we should collab because should implies that we're going to be progressing. If you've <laughs> never done a podcast in your mother fucking life, never use the word should and beautiful when you're speaking to someone who's a pioneer in the space, black, white, green, yellow, alien, or legal. I've been doing this for long enough. Don't beautiful me. And don't <laughs> say what I should or shouldn't legal. do. <laughs> and you, I can't wait to use that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you brought up something that is very, very important for people to hear this. You thinking saying beautiful is going to make me go, oh, they call me beautiful. I'm totally going to just jump on it. I'm going to be like, is that why you want me? Is because you, you find me attractive? I need my dildo. I, this, this is not enough. <laughs> we should but get like, you a ring it, that goes on your middle finger of you doing your middle finger. <laughs> yeah. Is, is this is this all you saw and was like, okay, I find her attractive. I want her. I want her. You know what I mean? Not anything that I've said, not anything that I've done. No, not saying I got accolades out here, but you know what I mean? Like, I've You've done been doing stuff. this for years, Trent. You've been doing and, Frankie. Accolades. I just, I just hit, I started 2019, January 2019. So yeah, I'm on two years. It's crazy. So like, it's, it's so I came up to you guys and like she said, hey, beautiful, I want you to be on my, my podcast. It's like, okay, what's the podcast about? No, it's oh, not I want you. About? It's not I want you to be. It's you should. No, I've had both. I've should and want. And I'm like, but what are we talking about? And it's like, oh, we just we just find you very attractive. It can bring, and I'm like, so I'm helping you out because my face is going to be near you, quote unquote. You know, COVID, we can't be near nobody, but that don't make no sense. But then again, a couple of years ago, when I guess I was still in my quote unquote ugly duckling stage, y'all was not looking at me like at all. You still weren't looking at what I was doing. You all you saw was face and like, nah, I keep it pushing. That don't make no sense. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand it. And because I think this is an end, Trinity. They think it's not about it's like, all right, I'm gonna do this podcast. She's gonna be so grateful that I considered her. And then obviously she's gonna want the dick after. 
yeah yeah i that, just i considered her therefore she wants the dick what kind of fucking math is that it's first of all we know we fine i don't think <laughs> i don't think men know that i think all of these enemies and stuff like that have it in their head that beautiful women especially smart beautiful women like hanji and shit got them thinking that we don't know we fine mm-hmm. we know I mean, we put in this makeup on our face. You don't think we know it's good? There was a time when I did not know. You look like I, this? I did not know. Yes. You look like this. The oppressor. I did not know what I looked like. Um, and to be really honest, it's it's a good thing I didn't know what I looked like back then <laughs> because I'm not sure I would have been able to wield the power. Uh, I didn't figure out what I looked like. Which is the power? We need to hear what the I, what power? Which power? Oh, hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> talk to him. So look it. I I we love my body now. Listen, listen. I love my body now. I love my body. I'm I'm a full size woman, and it comes with lots of things, but it's all me, and I love it. But there was some years prior where I was shaped differently. I was a lot smaller. I played a lot of sports. I ran a lot of track. I was stacked a certain way. Not only did I really not know what my body looked like to men, I also didn't know what my face looked like to men. I'm very cute. I did not know that back then. If I had known that back then, I'm pretty sure it would have allowed me to be a trash ass person because I would have used it to do fucked up shit. <laughs> See, it's funny that you say that because I'm not gonna even lie. I think the past two years I finally like grew into myself personally. Um, because growing up I was super shy. Like I said, I was uh, I've been called a washboard. My legs were called pencils, and my knees were the erasers. Okay, like I I was just a whole stick growing up. <laughs> So, you know, now I got a little shape to me. I was like, I don't know what to do with this. I still picture myself as not the standard, you know what I mean, in, in America or just in the world of what beautiful fuck is. A, so I was fuck like, nah. a standard. Fuck a, fuck a standard. Yeah. I'll, let, I'll let you finish, but fuck a standard. So when I see someone hit me up like, oh, you're beautiful. I'm like, first of all, you lie. And you probably just want some coochie. That's what it is. Like, that's all. I, that's what my mind went was you don't want, this ain't cute. It's not. I don't have the perfect body. I don't want to hear it. You probably just want some cheeks. And then that's that. You know what I mean? And I should be grateful that you even found my page to be in my DMs to be like, oh, you're so beautiful. Yada, yada. Man, I don't want to hear that. And like you said, DSL. I, I don't want to hear that. You lying. I know what you want. Especially when you bring out DSL, like, I, my, my thing is, what do they think is going to happen after? Like, you think they're going to say it to us and we're going to be like, think? Really? Think? L- l- let me give you some head yes. as a thank you. <laughs> I am just so overwhelmed with joy that you would bestow upon me such a such a elaborate compliment. And let me just say that you are just so eloquent in your words. And I cannot believe I met a man so intelligent. Please let me suck your dick. Yes. And let's date. Yes. Is that what they think is gonna happen? Just yes. <laughs> that that's it that's it. Everything I said is actually what you just did uh. in, in two seconds. That's the synopsis. Yeah. Oh, and then don't, by the way, I will find my own flights to you. I, don't worry. I got it. I got it. Because we rich. You know. We got money. <laughs> we money. We, we get money. We money. Like, so much money. Money resides. Okay. Clearly. Like, you know, just, mm. anyways, I just, <laughs> you can go on and on talking about this. That's crazy. But we, we just gonna, we just want to give you guys our point of view when it comes to messages like that of, ugly ducklies to geek to making money you know because we just out here rich rich you know but y'all just sit, sit there and think about what you're saying about other people before you really put it out there just take two seconds to be like probably not what i should say ask but, yourself why yeah because that's where that question comes from when 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 it, men men always be like why you ask me why i like you 
Why? Ask yourself why. Yes. Ask it's yourself why. <laughs> why that you way you have a then... fucking answer the next time you hit us with, oh, you're so beautiful. Why? I like you so much. Why? Well, now why? you've thought about your answer and you have one. You might and there ask, are reasons why. You, actually get you get what I'm saying? Like if a guy keeps on saying I'm pretty and I said, well, why do you like me? And you can't tell me. That means you absolutely have not listened to a word I said because I'm hilarious and charming. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm like, if you could only talk about how I look, then I'm like, that's how I know that like, you really don't care about me because there's no, I have such discernible characteristics about myself that like, if you can't name them, then you really don't. That's why I'm asking why, because I have an inclination that you don't, you're not paying attention to me. You're not, you're not here for me. Mm Mm-hmm. Exactly. See, listen, listen, fellas. Listen to what we're saying. We're not saying this to, to say it, okay? Listen to what we're saying. So if we get asked two things before, because I, hmm, two things. If we ask why, don't be offended. We want to know. Two, if you say you're beautiful and I say I know, don't take it the wrong way either. I'm agreeing with you, okay? Yeah, I know I'm beautiful. Thanks. Oh, you're stuck up. Disagree with what you just said. Did you, did you think you just discovered there this? are holes in your house? <laughs> you have holes wearing fishnets and <laughs> in your house. If you calling me stuck up when you got literal high priced pandemic hired holes in your house. In a pan, do, 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 do. in a panorama, in a panorama, in the panorama, <laughs> <laughs> in the parallelogram, y'all. Do not, call, do not call us stuck up. You got I, other problems. Oh shit! I am, I am. That's wild, a nerd shit. Wild right stush though. I'm not gonna lie. Like you come over to me crazy. I'm like, oh. Oh, the ghetto. How dreadful. Please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm stuck. You can call me stuck up because I will be y'all. I, and that happened. I, I mean, when the world was new <laughs> and I remember Anime NYC, this is 2019, was the first time by then I just like, I my page finally blew up and people were recognizing me and we're in New York. So people knew I would be there. And it was the first time that people were addressing me or like reaching out to me, which was just cool. But also like they would come at me crazy thinking I was going to accept it because they're trying to say I'm a fan. I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm still bougie. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> just because you like my videos don't mean you can touch me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know why you think <laughs> I'm still from Brooklyn. We don't do that. It's you don't roll up on people like that. It's <laughs> out of Brooklyn. It's the whole like, let me touch your I'm so hair sorry. in the geek community. Let me touch your hair in the geek community is I'm going to touch you. I'm going to talk to you some certain way. But it's like, oh, but I'm a fan. Like trying to hide behind the fan label. It's like, that doesn't work. Okay. People but, don't realize how big we are too. Like they think we're tiny women and got that a lot yeah, too. So they get close and they they like, oh, you big. I'm like, yeah, and I do. You know what? I think, I think it's Viola Davis when it's a it's a gif or a gif, whoever one of you know, she literally just goes, grabs her purse and gives okay. it. That's what I when I read these <laughs> when I see these messages, I hear these stories. I'm just let me just grab my like let me just go. Like I'm done. But you know what? We're gonna actually do that right now. We're gonna all gather our belongings. We're gonna grab our purses. <laughs> we're gonna get up. And we're going we gonna to just drop this. We're just going to leave it where it's at. Let them <laughs> marinate in it like it's food wars, okay? And we just, if y'all want to continue talking about it, you know how to do it. Come correct, because I will put you on blast. I've already put you someone else on blast last week or the week before. Don't, don't try it, okay? If they, if they get attacked, or whatever, believe me, I will be on the front <laughs> forefront and we're going to, Yep, block a block okay? <laughs> ready. Bunny ready, okay? We all ready. Don't do it. But if you're like, hey, I enjoyed the podcast. Yes, perfect. Keep it going. Remember where your roadmap is. Do not go down the wrong way. I will I will gather your thing. You have been eliminated from the island. You've been voted off, okay? Goodbye. But 
we're gonna leave on a high note. <laughs> it was lovely uh, seeing everybody here. Uh, once again, to our very lovely special guest, if you want to go ahead and say your pieces. Yeah, I'll start, yo. Yeah. yeah, first of all, this has been, I forgot, it's so, it's so few that I get to speak with women. You guys know in this space, that's just that, but yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my page, it's wild. So even women in the space sometimes are scared to talk to me because it's it, it, it you come in with heat. But I love seeing my equals. I forgot that I could speak on a podcast and not be spoken over. Just crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> I just had to get that out there. I love it. But yes, for you guys who don't follow me and are not sensitive, please check out my page at Fantastic Frankie. Fantastic spelled regular. Frankie is spelled F-R-A-N-K-E-Y, like the key to your heart, which I got to all of y'all. Yeah. Which I can't get mine. You know what I'm saying? You can find me there or you can find me on Twitter at Fanboy Fighter because Twitter <laughs> won't let me be great. <laughs> With my letters. They talk about you fatigue characters. Get out of here, Twitter. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> it was a blast having you on Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And of course, we have our lovely bunny. Anything, last words? You block a block out of here. Hmm. What are we doing? <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know my my final piece is this. Jig, Trin, and Fantastic Frankie were able to let you know how to use your new tools. I want to articulate that with new verbiage because there's always a fucking teachable moment. Mm. Weaponize your femininity. Weaponize your femininity. Weaponize your mother fucking femininity. My name is Bunny Mike Game. You. And thank you. And of course, Jig. Yep. I am locking and loading and pew, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> On that, uh, what is it? Uh, moon prism. Moon pussy power, prism okay. pussy power. Okay. Yeah, I was like, how do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, and then, I don't know. How we, we need a. <laughs> we, we need to get that together. That's coming soon. We need to get that together. I think I got it. I got it. Trin, make the moon symbol. <laughs> Trin, make the moon symbol. Wait, hold on. This Frankie, way. make the prism symbol. Prism, mm -hmm. make no prism. Oh. oh, I'm an AKA. I can't in good faith do yeah, that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so okay, so you do the moon. <laughs> you do the moon. Frankie, do the moon. Prism. I'll do pussy. And then you do power. Power. So. Oh, oh my <laughs> We did it. I love it. I was like, my hands don't go that way. Like, oh. Word to Kamala. Word to Kamala. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your hands just started like depressing. It's like, don't do it. No. No. I just, oh I just, God. I just saw Kamala like, excuse me, Frankie. <laughs> you know better. Yeah. You yeah, know better, hard. Frankie. <laughs> hey, if you guys are hearing this, like legit, go watch it so you see what our symbols are, okay? Yes, but, please. What's good? My name is SD Trinity. It has been Girls Can Geek episode 27. You guys, it was a blast. I would love to do more of these. If you guys have anything that you guys want us to talk about, whatever, let us know. You know, DMs. Uh, if you're already in our Discord, let us know. We got you. You know, all platforms, Girls Can Geek, Buddy My Game You, Fantastic Frankie, Jiggly Senpai 3. We all here, ready to talk. But until next time, have a beautiful weekend, week, wherever you're at. We love you. Peace. Yeah. Peace.